Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. You can tell by the title of today's video what it's going to be about, but I thought I would include a little what we eat in a week because it's hard to come up with unique recipes that aren't just the same crap on rotation and that don't take like 12 hours because I'm not really trying to spend a whole day on dinner. These are recipes that I cook for my family often, things that we love, things that I learned to cook from my mom, and I'm just sharing them with you to hopefully inspire you to cook with your family, to spend some time with them. Also, cooking at home does save money. It promotes spending time, good quality time with your family, and it's a way to kind of de-stress and unwind from the day, at least for me. I'm going to be writing out any important information or recipes in the description box below. And I'm also going to be walking you through how to cook everything in video for the most part. If you guys like these videos, then make sure to give this video a thumbs up so I know. I'm just going to stop talking and get right into it. On Monday, I made Asian glazed salmon. Off camera, I finely sliced some green onion and minced some fresh garlic. Over here, I have a cast iron skillet heating up and I'm also preparing some jasmine rice. Over here, I have some ginger. I didn't have fresh on hand, but that's just fine. Some soy sauce, garlic powder, pepper, and toasted sesame oil. I'm gonna start off by lightly patting my salmon dry and then topping it with some fresh cracked pepper. Then once my cast iron skillet has completely heated up, I'm going to pour in some vegetable oil. Then I'm gonna toss in my fillets. Immediately, I'm going to take my spatula and I'm going to press down over top of the fillets. This is going to keep the bottom of the fillet from curling up. In my small bowl, I'm going to take my olive oil, soy sauce. I'm also going to take some freshly minced garlic, a good sized dollop of the ginger. You can also use fresh. And then I'm going to take some toasted sesame oil I picked up from Trader Joe's. It is so good. Then I'm going to take one heaping tablespoon of brown sugar and put it straight into my bowl. I'm gonna give that a little stir and also a taste test. I don't have the exact measurements right now, but I'm gonna do my best to write it all out in the description below. Once the bottom of my fillet starts to turn white, I'm going to flip them and then also cook the sides. Then I'm gonna take my sauce and I'm going to drizzle it over top of my salmon and don't be skimpy with this literally get it all out and into the skillet it's going to caramelize and get so good i'm going to reduce my heat and take my spatula to scrape up some of that caramelized goodness onto the sides of each of my filet and then i'm going to flip and let those cook for another 30 seconds from here you're pretty much ready to plate up I top with any of that caramelized sauce that's at the bottom of my skillet as well as some green onion that I finely chopped and I'm gonna serve it with some jasmine rice because that's my favorite. And look at that, our salmon turned out completely perfect. Mmm, that's delicious. On Tuesday, we had what we call taco mash, which is basically just a burrito in a bowl. The cool thing about this is you can do pretty much anything you want to it. Sometimes I make it a taco salad, and then sometimes Zach takes some tortilla chips, crunches them up, and then puts them at the bottom. I'm going to start off by heating up some olive oil over medium heat in my skillet. On Sunday, I pre-chopped some peppers I picked up from the grocery store. So I'm just going to start off by adding those into my oil because they are frozen and I'm going to give them a good mix because I want them to be completely coated in that olive oil and cooked down nice and tender. I'm going to do the same exact thing with the onions I chopped up off camera. They're not frozen but I do want them to be nice and light, not translucent but almost before I add in my chicken. They'll cook down a little bit once I add the chicken in as well.
On Wednesday, I made my spicy spaghetti, and I'm not even gonna lie, <laughs> the whole way through, I was struggle busting it. <laughs> so I tried to lay out all of my ingredients beforehand, but here I'm holding up angel hair pasta. Don't use that. Once I realized that I had grabbed the wrong box, I ended up just grabbing the same brand, but just thin spaghetti. I also have two pounds of ground beef, but I'm only gonna use about one pound of that. That'll be more than enough. If you can, I always recommend using fresh ground beef from a local butcher. It really does make a huge difference in your pasta sauce. Over here, I have some freshly minced garlic that I did off camera, some shredded mozzarella, and also some shredded Parmesan right next to that. You are going to need two beef bouillon cubes. You'll add those in with your beef once it's cooking down with the onion. Then also some Italian seasoning. Once our sauce is in the pot, we'll add some crushed red pepper flakes and also some cayenne pepper. And you can adjust how much you put in there depending on how spicy you want your sauce to be. I have some parsley for a garnish on top once everything is done. And then also you're going to need some black pepper. I forgot to throw that in there a little earlier. Y'all, I was not kidding when I said I was struggle bussing all through Wednesday, but I'm going to add some olive oil and some chopped onion into my skillet and let that cook down before my beef goes in. And once my beef does go in, I'm going to add in that minced garlic and let that cook down with it as well. Don't forget this. I had to do it in a whole separate skillet and it was a whole thing. So don't forget. I totally forgot I had some fresh basil outside, so I grabbed that. Juliende added our garlic and cheeses for a little extra oomph. And then you totally don't have to do this, but I love it. I always throw our meat sauce in the Vitamix and pulse it for a few seconds. That way it's just kind of a finer texture and smooth, and it should look something like this. On Thursday, I made ground chicken lettuce wraps. This is my mom's recipe and it is so good. If you have a picky eater, you can definitely sub the lettuce for some rice and just make it into a rice bowl, either is fine. I'm starting off by dicing an onion and throwing that in with some olive oil. Then I'm gonna add in my carrots and snap peas because I want them to be softer and not crunchy. Then I'm gonna add in my minced garlic and let that get fragrant. Then I am going to move it all to the side and put in my chicken. To my chicken, I'm going to add in about a fourth a cup of hoisin sauce, a tablespoon of ground ginger, and then one tablespoon of Asian chili garlic sauce. You can adjust everything depending on your heat level or preference, but I'm adding in some cracked pepper and then a teaspoon of salt as well as some chopped green onion. I'm gonna give that a good mix, and then I'm also gonna add some crushed red pepper flakes, because I like a little heat. On Friday night, I did steak with twice baked potatoes and then some green beans. And I am telling you right now, I went in on those fillets. For time's sake in this video, I'm not going to show you how I made these, but I am going to link my recipe in the description box below. Um, usually I just eyeball it, so I'm going to try and get as exact measurements as I can for you but I'm just gonna top these with some cheese and then I'm gonna pop them into the oven at 350 for about 10-15 minutes when it comes to seasoning my steak I start off with a little bit of onion powder and I'm just gonna lightly dust that over top then I'm gonna take my garlic salt and I'm just gonna evenly coat that not too much just a little bit over top then I do take some Montreal seasoning and it is a little salty so I'm just very light with it 
And finally, I'm going to take some fresh cracked pepper and just make sure the tops of those are evenly coated. And I'm going to make sure that I flip to either side so that the sides are nice and coated with all these seasonings as well. I just want to enhance the flavor of the meat, not cover it up. Hi, I'm so sorry to interrupt. It's editing me. Okay, so for some reason when I was filming, like none of this was filming. I have the audio, but that's like freaking useless. So if you want me to show you how I sear my steaks in my cast iron skillet, let me know because I was gonna do that for you and break it down, but it didn't happen today. So if you want that, comment below and I will get that up like Wednesday. Hope you're not too mad at me. Okay, keep watching. Alrighty, happy Sunday. On Saturday, we ended up just going out to eat. I was a little sick of cooking. So I have a pork chop that I picked up from Boone's in Bardstown, Kentucky. And then I also have this Asian sesame chopped salad kit that I picked up from Kroger. They have a bunch of yummy ones, but this one is my favorite. Everything's ready to go. All you have to do is mix it. Our pork chops are pre-seasoned. We're just going to throw those on the grill. Alrighty, so Zach just finished the pork chops. They look amazing. He's doing the cut and test right now. And then I've got the Asian salad over here and Zach wanted some mac and cheese. So I also did some baked mac and cheese. Looks so good. So we're gonna eat some dinner and dig into all this good stuff and we will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Smushy says bye. Say bye. Bye bye. Can you say bye? Can you say bye? Make sure to let me know if you guys want to see that steak video. I can upload it like Wednesday. <laughs> Wednesday this week or something. And um, if you guys like videos like this, also let me know in the comments below because I can definitely do a whole bunch of different videos like this every now and then. I also save a whole bunch of dinner ideas on my Pinterest. Um, so if you ever need any inspo, check out Lainey Music on Pinterest. If you are not already subscribed yet, make sure you do that as well. And Squishy, can you sign off? See you in the next one. We'll see you next Sunday. Bye.